I got Brighton. He Hold just on. yeah, so uh, he just built me a really cool bait casting fishing rod and show it off to you guys outside because you could see the details and the colors a lot better. So here we go. So I asked that he make a black and kind of neon green and he nailed it. Let's throw it out in the sun. Yeah, hold that up. All right. So this is my new bait caster. Talk about it a little bit. So this is a handmade fishing rod that I made for Eric. It's a medium heavy with a medium fast tip and it's got the rubber grips on it, so it, when it gets wet, it's still really grippy. Yes. Yeah, so this is just handmade. If you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram and just DM me and let, you, let me know what you guys want. I can make pretty much whatever, so. Colors and Colors, everything, grips, huh? grips, everything's customizable, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna put his Instagram title right here, but it'll be in the description box, too. But check this out. It's so funny, those of you who have watched me bass fish over the last couple years, if you've noticed, some people really like to pay attention to what I'm using. I actually have a bait casting reel and a spinner rod. Yeah, basically, when people notice, they make fun of me really, really bad. But the funny thing is I've caught a lot of fish on that. But when I'm out with my brother Walker, I typically borrow his bait caster rods. And uh, they're just like this. So Walker recommended that I get a seven foot, medium, medium heavy. heavy with a medium fast tip. Medium fast tip. Those guys, I don't know all the lingo, but check out the detail. And you like did all the eyelets yeah, so and everything, start and to finish, right? Around. Yep. That is so cool, man. So yeah, check him out. He calls the brand Blackhawk, right? Yep, Blackhawk. But it doesn't have a page. So go to his personal page. And again, I'll put that in the description box. I haven't gone out this summer, but I promise you guys, now that I have a rod, I'm gonna have to get out there pretty soon. But. Yeah, thanks, man. You guys go check him out on Instagram, and if you want, check him out on his YouTube channel. Yep. It is Monday, start of a new week. It's always good to get a fresh start on a new week. After last week, which was super busy, flying to North Dakota, then to Las Vegas, then to Seattle to surprise Daniel with a dream outcome. We did that with the guys at Hush. It's nice to be home and just kind of regroup, and as usual, unpack from this trip, reorganize my entire house, get everything lined up, and actually start to prepare for a couple scouting trips, but really start for preparing for the hunting season, which is coming quick. I'm gonna split this video into, uh, the first half is gonna be the daily vlog, the second half I'm gonna do some questions and answers. I took a poll on Instagram and then asked you guys as well, right here on YouTube, to give me some questions. I'm gonna answer a couple. This package just showed up. These are the outfitted sunglasses, which are right here. So I'm gonna be selling these on the outfitted website. It is outfitted.com, just like that. I know that's not in focus. Let's see if we can focus it. Outfitted.com, we're gonna sell this exact pair of sunglasses in a black lens. I think this is the silver lens. We're gonna do a black lens and a blue lens. A lot of people have kind of reached out to me and asked about those, so I'm excited to add a new product on the website and offer them to you guys. Again, I'll already say thank you to anybody who supports any of the stuff I do, whether it's Hush or Outfitted related. Thank you guys. In the last video, you guys saw that I dropped off my Honda Foreman to my buddy TJ, who is a small engine repair mechanic. He offers his uh, services through his mechanic shop and I got it back. I picked it up yesterday. It's still in the back of the truck. But I'm going to run to the gym, I'm going to do my leg workout here real quick, try to get uh, at least some of cardio done, and then when I get back we'll unload this beast. Alright, you know what's fun about making videos, you kind of get to call your own shots and edit them how you want, versus, you know, like TV or something. With that being said, we're just going to kind of change things up and I was going to do Q&A at the end. I'm just going to throw in a question every now and then throughout the vlog. First question I'm going to answer real quick while I drink my pre-workout is, Eric, what tags do you have this year? People seem to always have interest in what tags and what, what hunts I'm going on. So I'm going to try to do this in chronological order. First tag I have is archery deer in Utah. It's where I go to the high country deer camp. I've scouted there. I really want to get a velvet buck. Unfortunately, there's not much going on on my tree stand. 
So I'm probably mix up my tactics this year, do a little tree stand and a little ambush style hunting, spot and stock as well. So Utah deer, Utah elk, which is multi-season. With that, I can hunt archery season, rifle season, and muzzleloader. And then I have a general season deer tag in Idaho. I plan to hunt rifle season. I'm gonna go up sometime in mid-October to hunt that one. I do have an Idaho archery elk tag. That one is honestly a little bit on the back burner mostly because I also have a Colorado archery elk tag that I'm gonna hunt with Bridget. And we're gonna go hunt probably the peak of the rut, as close as we can out there in Colorado. After that hunt, I have North Dakota, whitetail. I'm gonna do that the end of October in the first week of November. I will hopefully transition from there to Missouri to hunt whitetail. And I have an Arizona coos deer tag that's in early December. I did that hunt last year with my buddy Ben Sandal. We had a great time. We both shot bucks so I'm excited to do that again and this time actually hold out a little more, hunt a little longer and try to find an even older uh, bigger buck. List full of hunts. I think there's seven or eight and on top of that, my brother has muzzleloader deer. I'm gonna help him with that. There's a handful of other hunts that I'm gonna actually go with to help people, but it's gonna be a busy season. I hope you guys tag along. I'll try to keep the vlog channel going throughout the season as well. So, those are the tags I have, guys. I'm gonna go hit my legs and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Let me tell you what, guys. It's sure been nice having access to this outdoor 3d archery range so check it out got all the animals out there at a variety of distances obviously my favorite is to shoot the whitetail buck and the elk like i said in my last video archery season is coming really fast and personally i think it's very important that you shoot as much as you can to build those habits the way you want them. because i'll tell you what for me anyways when it comes down to crunch time, ugh, you know, in the moment, when it comes to anchoring, uh, watching your bubble, all that good stuff, for me, it seems to just kind of come down to habit. Everything I do isn't really thought of out there. It all just boils down to what you've done over and over. Repetition is the key. So I'm gonna pull out my spotting scope, my bow, and, and shoot some arrows. Some of you guys have probably seen me do this on the Hush channel, but I'm actually going to film through the phone scope and show you guys in slow motion the flight of my arrow at this elk at 62 yards. Not a bad shot group. First two were a little low. We'll walk up there and see what we got, but I think those second two were just about perfect. Got a ton of questions off the Instagram. This is an interesting one, not hunting related. What sports did you play as a kid? Man, a lot. When I grew up in California, I played baseball. I was usually shortstop. I played soccer. I played ice hockey. Those are kind of the three that I really stuck to as a kid. I did a high school year of tennis randomly. Never took tennis lessons, but tried out and made the team. Um, I, I was in a bowling league. It wasn't really sports, but yeah, as a kid, it was mainly soccer, ice hockey, and baseball. And out of those three, I really, really enjoyed ice hockey. When I moved here to Utah, surprisingly, couldn't find any ice hockey league, so I played roller hockey. Loved that, loved it all. But anyways, good question. Thanks for asking. Here's my shot group. Let's get a closer look. So you can see the elk is actually quartering at us a little bit. Those are perfect. These a little low. I mean, that could kill an elk for sure, but you want to pull it up a little higher. Not a bad shot group. I'm not complaining, but I am going to get to 60 on the dot and, and then shoot. 
I feel like I am shooting a little low, so I'm gonna go through my 30, 40, 50, 60 and see exactly where I'm at. Looks like we have a problem. Shooting low at 60. When I first got this sight tape, I knew I was shooting low past 70. 50 was good, 60 seemed okay. After 70, it started to be low, so it's good to take notes. 60 is probably two yards off. If I shoot 60, I probably need to dial to 62. If I shoot 70, it's gonna be more like 74, 75. If I shoot 80, probably have to dial to like 86, 87. So that's where I'm at with my sight tape. I could change it, but honestly, I don't want to this close to the hunt, so I don't plan on shooting that far anyways. So it is what it is. All right, let's see what this thing's got. Fuel needs to be on. Might take a minute to get some fuel, but let's see. Ah, TJ, you do good work, man. today holy oh, smokes <laughs> what the heck? Look at him. he's in the zone of his What up? You guys ready? So ready. We're, I'm deciding, should it, what sounds more, should it be like, Conquer! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude, Patriot. What's the other option? The other option would be, Outfitted! Yeah! Yeah! We just got done with a quick morning workout. We're actually here at the Mountain Ops to volunteer for the Conquer Hunger program. We're gonna be packaging big boxes of food that these guys are gonna be donating to local families and children right here in Utah that basically don't have enough food on the shelves to feed the family. So, great program by Mountain Ops. I'm gonna drink my protein shake. Wanted to show you guys how I do my post-workout shake on the go. Frozen blended Mountain Ops protein shake in the Yeti. Still cold, still icy, always good to go. But I'm gonna chug this down and we're gonna head down uh, to the office to do some work real quick and then we'll be back here at the uh, headquarters to, uh, yeah, volunteer, great cause. We just got done with the Conquer Hunger event here at Mountain Ops. I couldn't film anything because I was actually on the production line, filling bags full of oatmeal. I was on oatmeal duty, awesome company. Tons of people came to volunteer their time. M. Chad got the shots. We got all the shots. And he also did oatmeal. I did oatmeal. So we were on the oatmeal duty. Great time. Dude, Jordan, <laughs> thanks again, man, for having us here. <laughs> so it's not Just creepy at all, in. is it? You know, most people can't sneak up on a Chag wire, <laughs> but I can. Hey, we need Jordivation real fast, something that has to do with today. Okay. We haven't had Jordivation on the channel for a while, so, so give us your Jordivation so, on the spot. So Brian actually kind of touched on it earlier as we were doing that kind of pre-interview before we started the event, but um, I think one of the things that you guys can always know from Hush, Mountain Ops, um, our brands is what's deeply built into our DNA is that um, as much as we receive, we also desire to give back and so this is just one small part of the big picture of what we all believe, which is um, they rise highest to lift as they go. Like today we got a lift in, didn't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy definitely <laughs> got a lift in. He was actually helping to lift me. Um, just a little just, bit. Yeah, just a little, just a little bit. bit. Little just a little bump. And, uh, and so that, that belief is something really important. So for all of you guys out there, this is the motivation for you guys. Make sure you get yourself right so that you can, you don't, you don't have to get 200 people and create an event like this to be able to make a difference in your community or in your world. But remember to, to lift those who have reaching hands and to be a hand that will reach out and help right, you know, bring them up. So just make the world a better place, be good people. I like it. Simple. Today's busy day and out of nowhere, I uh, have booked myself a plane ticket to Orlando, Florida. I guess uh, I guess lobster season recently opened. I ran into my buddy Jay. 
Sugar Jay Jenkins, if you guys remember when we went fishing with him out in Florida, made some videos with him on the Hush channel. Surprisingly, one of them was like a catch, uh, catch mahi mahi and, and uh, filleting a mahi mahi. And I think that thing has like a million views over there. I just got back home. I've got some cleaning to do, hopefully some editing. We did get the outfitted sunglasses in. I'm gonna dig into those and check them out. We got sunglasses and I, I think like a, a nylon sheath or some type of sheath for the sunglasses that you can put them in, store them in, and also clean them with. There they are. That's how they're boxed. Outfitted on the outside. See how the finished product looks. I think these are the all black ones. We'll go over here and unpackage one and see what's up. Comes in a plastic bag. We decided to go with two colors. I did a poll over there on the Outfitted Instagram whether we should go with all black or a colored reflective lens. Most people surprisingly preferred the all black. So I like the reflective lens myself, but we're gonna offer these in black and a blue reflective lens. So yeah, it's definitely like a boxy style cut. The blue reflective lens. More things. What's up, babe? Anyways, these are going to be on the Outfit website soon. I don't think they're going to be up by the time I post this video. But if you guys want to get a pair, they'll be on the website. And if you want to support the, the brand, I really appreciate it. Outfitted.com. We're going to sell this exact pair of sunglasses in a black lens. I think this is the silver lens. We're going to do a black lens and a blue lens. Uh, the blue one will be reflective like these so yeah a lot of people have kind of reached out to me and asked about those so i'm excited to add a new product on the website 